Are you looking for a new tent for this season? Well then, this episode is for you. Today I will dive into the world of tents and give you the top picks regarding one and two person three season tents for 2022. All the best tents based on weight and features. Hi and welcome to a new episode and today I will give you my top picks regarding three season tents for this season in four different categories. Semi or freestanding tents, tunnel tents, tricky post supported tents and tippy tents. And in the end I will also give you some bonus tips. A lot of tents are just too heavy and there's no reason for you to carry a lot of extra weight. So the ones that I find too heavy for the category or the size just didn't make it to the list. A freestanding tent is the perfect choice for rocky terrain or any hard surface really where getting the stakes down to the ground is hard. It also gives you a lot of space inside for you and your gear. A freestanding tent is very resistant to harsh weather and strong winds and if those features is something you're looking for, a freestanding tent is for you. And this is the top picks in the category. A small double walled two person shelter with only one vestibule, fully freestanding and with a very high quality. It pitches with the inner attached to the outer using two 9mm DAC NSL poles and a minimum of one peg for the vestibule and a maximum of 10 pegs with all the guy lines and corners staked. The vestibule is big enough for cooking and gear and the trail weight is 1.7 kilo. That is including 10 pegs, repair kit and stuff sack. The tent is also seam sealed and ready to go out of the box. You can't go wrong with a Hilleberg and the Niak is no exception. It's a perfect balance between weight, space and strength, <laughs> making it a great choice. A two-person tent with an integrated inner that pitches all together, what I call a dry pitch, which is an advantage if you're pitching in the rain. It uses one big 8.7mm Eastern aluminum arc pole and a smaller Eastern 3.9mm carbon fiber cross pole for the vestibules and with a minimum of six pegs. If used together with two trekking poles, it becomes fully freestanding and requires only two pegs for the vestibules. You also have the possibility to choose a carbon fiber arc pole for reduced weight. The tent is not seam sealed but can be bought as a service and the trail weight, including six pegs, poles and stuff sack, is 1.2 kilos. This tent made it to the list because of the different design, giving it a special look. A very spacious interior and with a high flexibility to use it as a semi-freestanding tent or a fully freestanding tent using only trekking poles. And it also comes with a low weight. As an ultralight option in the category, it's a two-person single wall freestanding masterpiece made out of DCF. It pitches using two eight-shaped Eastern 6.9 mm carbon fiber pole system. Depending on the choice of fabrics, the weight, including stuff sack, is 852 to 910 grams, plus eight stakes. They are not included, but the total trail weight should end up below one kilo. Amazing. There is really no comparison to Setpacks Free Duo out there when it comes to freestanding tents and Setpacks is truly the king of ultralight tents. And the Free Duo is a very good option if you have the money to spend. A tunnel tent is by many the preferred choice for hiking in the mountains because of its ability to shed wind. It gives much of the benefits from a freestanding tent but with less weight. Often you also get a big vestibule for your gear and cooking. It's a double walled two person tent with a generous vestibule. You get plenty of space for two and a good sized vestibule for gear and cooking and it pitches using two 9mm DAC NSL arc poles and a minimum of four pegs or 12 pegs as a maximum using all the guy out points. It has some innovative solutions for stargazing and good ventilation systems for the hot days. The trail weight is 1.8 kilos, that is including 12 stakes, repair kit and stuff sacks. The tent also has seam seed and ready to go out of the box. And again, you can't go wrong with a Hilleberg. An Anyan is all that you want from a tunnel tent. It is spacious, stormworthy, and innovative. And most important, it is bombproof. A roomy two-person double wall tent for the one who focus on weight, but don't want to pay for a Dyneema. At only 950 grams, you get plenty of space and comfort. If you add the stakes, you end up around 1.1 kilo of trail weight, including stuff sack and pole. This tent uses 8.7mm DAC Federlite NSL poles and at the minimum of 4 stakes and a maximum of 6 stakes. 
The tent is very versatile and if only one person using it, you can make the inner smaller and that way expanding your vestibule for more room for gear and cooking. The tent comes seam sealed and ready to go out of the box. This tent is a popular and well known two person tent up here in the Nordics and it comes highly recommended by many, both traditional hikers and ultralight hikers. Now there ain't many options when it comes to ultralight tunnel tents out there, but I believe that the Telemark is a really good and affordable ultralight choice. This is a growing segment due to the weight savings not using a tent pole and the benefits of higher strength using trekking poles instead. But on the negative, if you don't use trekking poles, this is not for you. The famous Dan Durston made his first XMIT tent not too long ago, but has become one of the most popular trekking pole tents alternatives out there. It is a double wall two person tent and the XMIT's biggest advantage is the design, where the trekking pole is off center. The benefits are that the poles will not be in the way and in front of the doors, making it easier to go in and out. The standard two person Silent Island version, due to price and space, I believe to be the best choice and you get a castle for one and a good enough space for two. The trail weight is 1135 grams, then including eight stakes and stuff set. The tent comes seam taped and ready to use. This is by far the most recommended trekking pole tent out there and comes recommended by many. And I will guess that you will love it too. Just like the XMID, the Stratospire is a two-person double wall tent with more rectangular shape with the trekking poles off-centered. It is much like the XMID but with one big difference. The small triangular shapes at the ends make it a bit more spacious with more usable space inside. It's a very spacious tent with a high quality and the trail weight is 1.25 kilos including 8 stakes and a stuff sack. This is a proven design in a very high quality and comes recommended by many and a very good choice. The most famous and popular ultralight single wall tent out there and the lightest option if you don't want to use a one person shelter. But why choose a one person shelter when a two person shelter with bathtub floor and protection from the bugs only weighs in at 539 grams. If you then include the stakes you end up somewhere around 600 grams. The only reason to go for a one person tent and to save additional 100 grams would be if you're using only one trekking pole. Tippy tents have been around since, since, well, I don't know, from the beginning of time, maybe. They are a very strong and storm worthy tent, but with one big downside. They have a very big footprint, making them more suitable for the open spaces like the mountains. But they are very versatile. You can use them without an inner, making them really spacious, or you can use them with an inner, and then you have full protection from the bugs, or use it together with a stove during winter time as a hot tent. The options out there are many, but I believe a couple of them is worth mentioning. One of the most popular two-person tippy tents out there, with several options regarding materials and inners, and with a DCF option as well, for those with a big wallet. The standard Sin Island Duomid with a full inner and 8 stakes weighs in at 1 kilo. You can seam seal it yourself or have MLD do it as a service. It adds about 28 grams to the weight. Depending on the need and if you choose a stove or not, a nest or not, at Seek Outside you can tailor a tent to your need. The silver tip, the little bug out or the Simran, the choice is up to you. Seek Outside is famous for the quality and good customer service and can offer you a tailored solution. I do recommend them a visit if a tippy tent is what you are looking for. The famous ultralight DCF tippy tent with or without an inner. With a half inner and stakes, it ends up around 980 grams. But then it is a four season roomy two person tent. So much more versatile than many others and a very storm worthy option. If you love tippies, this tent is for you, but it is a bit expensive. Wow, that was a long list of tents and my top picks for tents 2022. And like you might have noticed, there were no one person tents on this list. Do you know why? Well, I believe there's no reason to pick a one person tent if you choose one of the tents mentioned today, because you will have a lot more space and you will live like a king out on the trail instead of cramped up inside a one person tent. So trust me when I say that a two person tent is the way to go, even if you're hiking solo. But if you insist on picking a one person tent, here are three good alternatives. You have the Hilleberg Enan at 1.2 kilos. You have the Tart Tent Notch 
at 803 grams and the Zpax Plexamid at 433 grams. That was three good alternatives if you insist using a one person tent. Bonus tip number two and that almost made it to the list. Big Agnes Copperspur HV at 1.42 kilos. A great and affordable choice for a freestanding tent. So if the double rainbow or the Hilberniak isn't for you, this might be the tent you're looking for. If you liked today's episode, take a look at these recommendations on my other videos. And do hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. See you next week. Bye bye.